Hey guys, it's Jennifer checking in. I did a vlog yesterday and I screwed it up, so <laughs> I'm redoing it today. I wanted to give you guys the results. I went in for my second DEXA scan and wanted to kind of let you guys know what happened. And if you're not familiar with it, it's basically um, a body scan that you can do to monitor like fat loss versus lean mass loss or bone density loss, that kind of a thing. So I had purchased um, a year's worth of scans, which is four, and included in that is also like a 3D body scan that basically just does your measurements for you, which I don't know how accurate that is, um, but whatever. It wasn't any extra over the DEXA scan, so anyway. Long story short, um, I have lost, it's right around 20, uh, uh, 20, we'll just say 25-ish pounds since from when I went in, from when I went in the previous time. <clears throat> and my body fat percentage went down 3.1% and my lean tissue went up almost two pounds. Um, so that's good. That's what you kind of want to look at to see, you know, is what you're doing, is it going after the fat or is it going after your muscle or your lean tissue kind of a, a deal. And so, <laughs> excuse me, they also measured some other stuff um, that's also included in the scan. Uh, they do, I'm reading, so sorry, I'm not looking at you guys. Um, they do a body composition. Um, they look at uh, the android region, your android gynoid ratio, which you want to be for women less than 0.8 is your ideal. So it's kind of like your waist to hip ratio. And I went from 1.04 to 0.98, so I'm in the right direction. And then they have a VAT content, um, which is the visceral adipose tissue, and I'm totally probably slaughtering these words, uh, within the android region, uh, which would be like the waste area. And it's a type of fat that's associated with several types of metabolic diseases, such as obesity, metabolic syndrome, and type 2 diabetes. And so with that, they want you to have less than one pound of is ideal. And so with that, I went from 3.56 pounds down to 2.83. So I'm still over, but headed in the right direction. And then they had, excuse me, they have the um, a T-score, which is your bone density. And so a T-score... Zero is an average density. Negative 2.5 is, I think it, if I'm reading this right, it's osteoprenia. And then negative four is osteoporosis. And I was at, and I'm still at a 2.7. So I'm way better than the average. I got very dense bones. My bones are doing good. And with that, um, I am, I think he said three standard deviations out of the norm so which is really really good so that stayed the same so um, my concern pretty much was um, doing HCG because I was planning on doing HCG this year um, as to is it going after the right fat and it totally is so he said to me whatever you're doing keep doing it because it's working <laughs> So I started out this year, I did a round of HCG, and then I've switched over to keto and working out. And so that's kind of, you know, where I'm at right now. So I'm still doing keto. I am not back to the gym. I go in um, to the doctor, uh, today's Tuesday, on Thursday, to get rechecked for my foot um, to see if it's any healed any better. Or what the deal is so anyway that is my update I hope everyone's doing great I wanted to give you the DEXA scan results I'll go back in in another three months and I will let you guys know again what's going on with it all right bye guys